Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? I hope you're doing great. Today we're talking about Lua again and we're going to be doing this whole uh, loading Lua code from a script file. Okay, and it's it's a lot scarier than it it's it's a lot less scary than it sounds. But let's before before we get started, I just want to tell you guys and girls, please go down and check the description box. You got a bunch of useful links. Um, you got a link to my support page. You can follow me on Twitter. You can check out all the Lua stuff that you need to know down there. Uh, there's a link to where you can download it for Windows and also we can learn Lua a little better. Um, if you like reading about it, uh, that is. And then, yeah, just drop a like and subscribe if you can. If you can't, just keep watching. That's enough. And yeah, let's just get started. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to CD myself to the desktop. So in, for me, I was right here. I was in user head turn. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write CD desktop. And it should be the same in wherever you are. Um, if you're on Linux or if you're in, in uh, on Mac, you, could, you should be able to just in the command line move yourself to wherever you want to be and your Lua file should be at that location so on my desktop I'm gonna create this whole this Lua file um, and the way I do that is I just have any kind of text editor the important thing to note here is that you don't want it to save your file in a txt format you want it to save it in a Lua format and for that to check that you would probably need to have hidden extensions off so just go ahead and google how to disable hiding extensions because you don't want it to be some file name dot txt dot lua you want it to be just file name dot lua so I'm gonna write print hello world from lua like that that's gonna be my lua code in this file and I'm gonna save this as lua tutorial one dot lua and see how it says text file I'm just gonna say uh, I'm just gonna say all types and then it's going to save it as .lua, not .txt.lua. And then I'm going to go ahead to desktop and I'm just going to save it right there. Now it's on desktop, just where I am here. There's two ways to load a file from your CMD, uh, your command prompt. And that is either you start Lua first or you start Lua with a file. So I'm just going to write Lua to one dot Lua like that. So Lua followed by the file name, including the extension. And I'm going to write enter. So that loaded the file and then it quit. Okay. Now another way to do it, if you're already in the Lua environment, you write do file, two quotation marks like that. And in between the quotation marks, you write your file name. So I'm going to write uh, Lua tut one dot Lua. Enter. So hello world from Lua. Now it's still going. So if I define variables in here, global variables it's gonna still be here so let me show you that now we're gonna play around with this so we have our file here now I printed hello world from Lua instead of that I'm gonna print script start and I'm gonna print script end so we know what the hell's going on script end like that and then we're going to define some stuff here so a number equals 20 and then I'm gonna say a uh, number 2 equals 40 alright and then a a sum equals a number plus a number 2 alright so we've defined three things here and I'm gonna run this code script start script then but now if I decide to print a number it's not just gonna be in that file it's gonna have run this whole file a, a script file is basically a bunch of code written down and once you run it it will it will actually run it in the environment one line at a time from the left to the right and then down left to right down left to right it's always from left to right and then down so that's how coding works and it's gonna run all of these commands just like if I would have wrote them in line here so it just puts them all together like that and in this way you can kinda see what your code is before you run it okay so there you go so I printed that I can also print a sum like that 
uh, wait one second uh, let's see there you go print a sum 60 all right no problems and then I can keep printing that and then print a number 20 and I can also print print a number 2 whoops and 40 all right so you got a bunch of things you can do here um, and another thing you can do is you can actually run other files from files so script I'll just write script one start script one end okay and then I'm gonna actually just I'm gonna make a new file here and I'm gonna call it Lua tut one two dot Lua okay uh, one two maybe like that some whatever I'm just gonna call it that okay I'm gonna control X that and then I'm gonna do print script script start two like that or script to start I think and then print script to end just like that and I'm gonna save this on the desktop as Lua tut one underscore two dot Lua and all types save that and if I go back to my original here I'm gonna just do do file you can either do file or you can do require but if you do the require command here I know this is kinda it, don't freak out this these are just ways to kinda load the code from another file within another file alright so don't freak out too much if you do require you just write the name you don't write the dot lua alright so it's called lua tut one underscore two okay now if I run this file let's see let me just see what did I do wrong uh, da, 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 unfinished string near okay wait let me just see script two. Oh, sorry about that there you go okay so I forgot to end that but if I do this see script one start script two start script two and script one end so I loaded a file from this file from another file okay so it might seem confusing but don't worry too much and now I'm gonna just put these two things a number and a number two in the other file and then I'm gonna sum them up in the first file okay and then I'm gonna print sum equals um, just like that and then a sum and if I run this script one start sum is 60 script one end all right so let me just do this as well there we go okay so this way we can just work with Lua several different files and yeah you can have a lot of fun with this so just play around with this you don't have to do all this crazy stuff requiring everything from the beginning just just play around with it just have fun just go ahead and write a few numbers just add them together multiply them together and you can play around with numbers as well like number one equals ten uh, you don't need semicolons here as well number two equals twenty and then you can say a product equals uh, number one multiplied by number two okay and then go ahead and just print that out a product just like that and then you can run your file and you have a nice little well let me see is this Lua you gotta save it as well don't forget to save them um, a number no where is it there you go so 200 see so you can just have fun you can just multiply stuff add stuff and uh, and yeah make different script files and run them so thanks for watching I hope you learned something about Lua I'm sorry I was a little off uh, but I hope you got the gist of it anyway uh, yeah, so just go ahead and check out the description box. Got a bunch of links. If you want to learn Lua the good old-fashioned way in text, uh, you can go ahead and check the link for the Lua homepage, and you just go into learn, and then you got everything set up right there. Uh, but in this series, we're going to make a couple examples. We're going to try different things out, 
and have fun with these variables and 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 yeah just show you some real world examples of how you can use it and yeah just drop a like subscribe if you can if you want to if you don't it's no problem hopefully i'll see you guys and girls in the next one all right take care keep learning and yeah i'll see you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye